I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons, my Biblio Spran, Biblio Howlers, and Biblio Mansers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means so much to me. Hi everyone, Patrick here. It's the end of the month and it is time to talk about all the books that I want to read uh, next month in the month of March. But before that, I want to say thank you so much to all of you who have been very kind and understanding about me, including an integrated paid sponsorship in my previous video or all the other videos. You know, in comparison, uh, integrated paid sponsorship is very rare in my channel. I have posted more than 200 videos and in total, I think, I think in total, there were about uh, 10 videos with integrated paid sponsorship. Now, these videos, I know that they are very disrupting to the flow of my videos and I'm sure many other videos as well. But many of you have been very kind and understanding that these videos, these paid sponsorship are very helpful even though they're only one minute and you are not required to watch them. And even though they're only about one minute, but yeah. They are incredibly helpful to content creators and I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who have been well understanding about this. I know that a few of you aren't too happy about me including paid sponsorship but as I said you are not required to watch them and I hope you will be a bit more understanding about me including a few of them. There will be another one, another paid sponsorship in my videos uh, this Friday but after that at the moment I don't have anything planned for another video with paid sponsorship. Not yet anyway and you know what compared to many other booktubers and youtubers I don't receive many sponsorships but that's okay sponsorship is not the main priority of my videos my videos my channel the main priority is at the end to talk about books and recommend books nothing brings me a greater joy than people readers finding books they love through my recommendations and that at the end of the day will always be the main priority of my booktube channel so yeah I guess that's kind of a long introduction but again I feel like I have to say this and I just want to say thank you so much to all of you the majority of you have been very super kind and understanding about this so yeah now it's time to talk about all the books that I want to read next month and the first one will be a carryover from this month and this is Mother of Learning Volume 1 or Arc 1 by Nobody 103 or Domagoj Kurmaik. So the series, the entire series is divided into three arcs and it will be published into uh, four volumes, all of them published by Ratemark Creative. And this is the first volume that I bought through their Kickstarter campaign. And yeah, this is a gorgeous hardcover. This is the spine, this is the back. Uh, repetition is the mother of learning and inside there is a beautiful design and some gorgeous and papers. I wanted to get around to this one uh, in February, but of course that's not possible. I was too ambitious. This month is shorter than any other month in a year. And then there's the fact that I actually went on a trip for 10 days uh, this month to Malaysia. But I definitely will prioritize this. I have mentioned in my priority series video at the end of December, uh, two months ago, I have mentioned that The Mother of Learning is one of my priority series that I want to start and finish this year and I will start reading the series next month. This will be the first book that I read in the month of March and yeah, as many people have mentioned, this is supposedly a great time loop of fantasy or science fantasy series. Some of you may know that I have neglected reading sci-fi books last year. I've read only about one or two sci-fi books in the year 2022 and I am determined to fix that this year. So this is another one of my solution. I have plenty of other solutions. And if there is some time left in the month of March before the end of the month, I want to read volume 2 of Mother of Learning as well. I am so excited to read this one. I love a great time loop or time travel story done right in fantasy even though they're kind of rare in comparison but I love it so much when they're done right just like in the Lycanius trilogy by James Islington. Hopefully this is really the other one of those cases where it's really implemented correctly and magnificently. Many people have voiced their opinion that it is truly the case. And then the third book that I want to read in the month of March is again another sci-fi and this is a continuation to my reread and this is Golden Sun by Chris Brown. This is the second book in the Red Rising Saga series and this is so far out of all the books in the Red Rising Saga series is my favorite book. This is my favorite in the entire Red Rising Saga series. It is just absolutely incredible fast-paced, top-notch characterizations and I am so looking forward to doing a reread of this book for the first time next month. I have really enjoyed my time doing a second read of Red Rising uh, this month and I hope Golden Sun will bring me even a better reading experience than the first time I read through it. Hopefully that will be the case but well let's just say that the first time I read through it it was just completely thrilling, exhilarating and I don't think that feeling can be replicated again through a reread but you know what I could be wrong and I am truly hoping that I will be proven wrong. I'm doing 
a reread of the entire series, the entire Red Rising Saga series right now, in preparation of the release of the sixth book in the series, uh, probably in July. I think it was in July. And yeah, I'm doing a reread of the entire series in preparation for that. And for those of you who don't know, Red Rising Saga is my number one sci-fi series of all time at the moment. I haven't read Sun Eater yet, and no, I'm not starting Sun Eater uh, this month, but it will be really soon, probably in May, if all goes according to plan anyway, because, well, life is busy, and as I said, creating videos, editing videos, coming up with ideas, reading and reviewing books, and then there's also life, yeah, you combine all of those and you pretty much have no more time for anything else. So yeah. And then the next book that I want to read in the month of March is a continuation from this month again. And this is for The Curse of the Misread by Jenny Wirtz, the first book in the Wars of Light and Shadow series. Jenny Wirtz, Magnum Opus. So yeah, I have mentioned plenty of times that I want to start reading this series as soon as possible. And The Curse of the Misread was indeed in my February TBR video. But I have also mentioned in my February TBR video that I don't think I will be able to get around to this one because Curse of the Misread is a big book and Jenny Wood's prose isn't the easiest to digest. And I need to make sure that I'm in the right reading mode, in the right mindset before I dive into this epic fantasy series, epic and complex fantasy series with a dense prose. I will definitely try my best to prioritize reading The Curse of the Mist Raid next month. I know just like Mother of Learning, uh, Wars of Light and Shadow is in my list of priority series, but yeah, I don't think I will be able to finish the entire series within this year, but I will try to read as many as I can. I really enjoyed to write Hell's Chasm by Jenny Wirtz, and I absolutely love reading Revore Empire Trilogy, written by Raymond E. Feist and Jenny Wirtz. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, I will end up loving Wars of Light and Shadow even more than Revore Empire Trilogy, and also to write Hell's Chasm. After that, I want to read uh, The Bone Shot Emperor by Andrea Stewart. This is the sequel to The Bone Shot Daughter, and yeah, this is the second book in the Drown Empire trilogy. I haven't read The Bone Shot Emperor yet. Unlike The Bone Shot Daughter, which I did a reread uh, last month in January, to my shame, I haven't read The Bone Shot Emperor yet. This is despite the fact that I really love reading The Bone Shot Daughter. But The Bone Shot War will be released in the month of April, and the advanced reading copy of The Bone Shot War is already in my possession, and that means it is the right time for me to dive into The Bone Shot Emperor. I truly hope I will end up loving uh, The Bone Shot Emperor more than The Bone Shot Daughter. I remember Elliot Brooks, uh, I think she said that this was even better than The Bone Shot Daughter. I remember uh, she finished the Bone Shot Emperor in one day, and yeah, I think that is absolutely crazy. This is an Asian-inspired fantasy series taking place in an archipelago, and I really enjoyed the main characters. The magic system that reminded me so much of Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett, I think all of them were really good. Also, I think this is a beautifully intricate cover art. Look at this. This is uh, the cover art is done by Sasha Vinogradova. And yeah, I think it looks beautiful. And because I just mentioned that I'm in the possession of the arc for Bone Shot War, well, I fortunately got an adventure reading copy of one of my most anticipated books of this year. And that is The Will of the Many by James Islington. And yeah, you have no idea how excited I am about this. James Islington, after the Lycanius trilogy, has become one of my favorite authors instantly. And now I finally got the adventure reading copy for The Will of the Many. I don't know too much about this one. I want to keep it that way. But I know from the passage that I read, from the first few pages of The Will of the Many, I have a good feeling that this one will be different from the Lycanius trilogy. I mean, there is the fact that this book is written, from the first few pages anyway, this book is written in a first person present tense narration. And yeah, that kind of narration, I don't see that happening often in fantasy or even sci-fi. Pierce Brown did it for the Red Rising Saga series, and I know that Dirk Ashton also did it for his Patternless trilogy, but yeah, relatively first-person present tense doesn't happen often in fantasy and sci-fi, not in adult fantasy and sci-fi. But James Islington successfully blew my mind with the complexity and intricacies of the Lycanius trilogy with a lot of plot twists, and Caden from the Lycanius trilogy is still one of my favorite characters of all time. I expect great things from the Will of the Many, and I think it is safe to say James Islington will exceed my expectation, or at least meet my high expectations again. Once I finish The Will of the Many, I will make sure to leave a review on this channel and also on my Goodreads and my blog. And finally, the last book that I want to read in the month of March, because, well, all the books that I just mentioned, all of them are big books. 
Well, this one is a novella, one of my most anticipated novella, and this is Untethered Sky by Fondali. For the first time, I will read something by Fondali that is not part of the Greenbone Saga series. I think many of you know that Greenbone Saga is one of my top favorite series of all time, and it will be interesting and also exciting to finally read something written by Fondali that doesn't take place in the world of the Greenbone Saga. This one, as I said, is a novella, it's less than 200 pages long, and from the cover art illustrated by Jamie Jones, I predict Untethered Sky will be a great novella with a great animal companion. I absolutely love the entire Greenbone Saga series, and I have faith that, well, Untethered Sky, even though this one doesn't take place in the same world, I have faith in Fondali's writing and storytelling. And because I just saw this gorgeous cover reveal, well, consider this book, The Way of Eden, the first book in the Eden trilogy by my friend, my fellow booktubers, Philip Chase on my TBR pile for the month of March. I am so excited to read Philip Chase's debut novel. It has received plenty of amazing praises from incredible authors such as Mark Lawrence, Jenny Wirtz, Ian Asselmon, and John Gwynn. The release date will be the 21st of March, and if I cannot get around to this one within the month of March, well, I will definitely read it in the month of April. But yeah, this is a high priority for me. Ever since I have my own booktube channel, it really seems like I can only fit about 5 to 8 books, at most 8 books, of reading per month. Additionally, I also plan to read one manga series. Uh, the name of the manga is Sakamoto Days. I heard many great things about this one. I think this is a John Wick, a John Wick inspired manga series or something that can be enjoyed by those who love watching John Wick. And on top of that, I also plan to catch up to the latest chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the books that I want to read in the month of March. Do let me know which books that I mentioned here that you think are the most interesting. Anything that you're looking forward to read here or maybe you have read them, do let me know what you think about them. And of course, do tell me what you plan to read in the month of March. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.